Welcome to our first video of 2019 and in this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna do some screen replacement. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So on Christmas Eve, we posted a short film called Triggered and within this short film, we had to do some screen replacement on two monitors. And of course, you know, when I went into the film, like this is gonna be easy, no problem. Been using After Effects for years, we can easily do this. It actually challenged me a little bit and that's why I'm creating this tutorial to show you guys how we can replace screens in post-production with whatever element we wanna do. In my case, it's more of the sci-fi heads-up display sort of deal. So, so before we get into the After Effects portion of this tutorial, we have to talk about how we shot this clip. Now, a lot of people are gonna be thinking, okay, I have a monitor, I know I'm gonna replace something later in post-production. Let me set the monitor screen to green, so like a green screen sort of setup. Well, don't do that. Because what's gonna happen is if you have your monitor and you have your, say, your talent, your actors, or whatever is in front of your monitors, that monitor is gonna be casting a green light onto your talent, and that's gonna show up in your clip, and that's really hard to remove. It's not you know, something you should wanna deal with. So instead of having you know, green light casted all over the image, set your display background to a white background. And that's because the monitor will light your talent and it won't be any distracting light and it will look really good. And the monitor is the main light source in these shots, so that's really awesome. So after your footage is shot, let's jump over to After Effects. And for the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a mask. And after we bring in our footage into our timeline, we're gonna grab the pen tool and we're gonna mask out our screen. Now it could be a rectangle, so you could use the rectangle tool, but the pen tool is a little bit easier to adjust. So we'll be using the pen tool to mask out our screen. But once your mask is closed up, you're gonna to want to adjust the feather so you know everything's gonna be blended well together. And make sure you set your mask to subtract. And then we can hit MM on our keyboard to bring up all the mask properties. And we can increase the feather and we might need to increase the mass expansion to get rid of that white edge. So now let's talk about compositing before we build out our screen UI. So I already have my screen UI done, but there's a series of facts that are going to determine whether your replacement looks realistic or not. And now we'll bring in our replacement here and we don't have to do anything other than put this layer underneath our original footage. And there it is. And now we'll use the corner pin effect and bring it into our display. And we'll use these points here to set this image exactly where it needs to be. So make sure those four corner pins match the corners of your monitor and there's no problem at all. You don't have to do any other transform adjusting to make your screen match your shot. So now you might be thinking, I'm done, I'm ready to go, but no, you're not. We have to make this look good. It has to look realistic. So the first effect I'm going to apply is camera lens blur. And I love this blur because it really emulates the lens blur of a camera, the kind of how you would shoot it. And I'll adjust this up by a little bit like one, two, or three, even four points, depending on the focus of my shot. And the goal is, is to match the out of focusness of you know what I shot to the you know screen replacement so it blends well together. And once you've done that, then you'll be able to move on to the next step, which is to add noise. So when you create elements inside of After Effects, there there's no noise to it. It's almost like a graphic design element, right? So what you're gonna have to do is add noise and adjust this up to about three, four, five, even six percent to match the noise of your shot. And to take this effect even further, I also added an effect called mosaic. And this is essentially just a pixelization effect, but just adjusting this to about 400, 400, at least in my case, this was able to just make the, my you know, screen replacement a little bit more blocky as if it was you know, more pixel based like how it was shot. So this kind of was a nice way to deteriorate the image and make it blend well with our scenes. So these are tools that you're gonna have to experiment with to help blend in your screen replacement with the rest of your shots. And then for one last stylistic compositing effect, I added the glow effect. And for glow effects, I like to set the color looping to sawtooth B greater than A. And then we can increase the glow radius to about 200. And to finish up the compositing on this clip, we have to adjust the brightness and the color of our screen replacement so it blends just well with the rest of our shot. And now we'll add curves. And this is where we can start really adjusting our shot. And to help control the saturation of this, we can add a tint effect and bring the tint down to maybe about 30%. And this will help control that you know, saturation and make it look like this is actually in there. And now with all these compositing techniques, you should be able to make a realistic screen replacement for whatever you're doing in whatever situation that you're in. So now let's talk about the sci-fi HUD element that I created for the screen. So here's the thing, I actually did not create it. As much as I love motion graphics, I did not have the time to sit down and spend hours and hours 
designing this you know display because essentially it would have taken a tremendous amount of time there's and there were so many things i had to focus on this film like the audio and color that just you know doing these vfx were just going to take a lot of time and compositing can take some time as well so that's really where i wanted my focus to be so for the sci-fi hud elements what i used it was a third party pack called quantum i'll drop the link in the video description and this is a pack that has 350 HUD sci-fi elements that I can bring into any After Effects composition. And what's part about this pack is not like any After Effects template. It has its own user interface within After Effects. So this is why I can bring it into any After Effects project file and I can preview any of these elements before I bring them into my After Effects project. So simply this 350 HUD element pack has taken hours of time and reduced my time to just dragging and dropping several elements within a couple of seconds. So if you're interested in learning more about this pack quantum or any of the other packs that I use to help me save time, go ahead and check the links in the video description. It'll take you right over to the page where I use these products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this After Effects video and were able to take away a handful of techniques from it. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post at least two post-production tutorials every week right here. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.